to you, but it's only fair, right? But today, we're also announcing that our government will prioritize med school seats for Ontario students. Starting in the fall of 2026, all Ontario medical schools will be required to allocate at least 95% of all undergraduate seats to residents of Ontario, with the other 5% reserved for students from the rest of Canada. And I, you know something? This has been gnawing at me for years, as my colleagues know. I found out because you'd go out to events and I'd say, "How's you know? How are the kids?" Well, they're studying in Ireland, or they're studying in the Caribbean, or studying in the U.S. And what happens? They meet someone and they don't come back home. So I've just been all over our, our minister of colleges and universities, and and uh, there was 18% students from around the world taking our kids' seats and then not even staying here and going back to their country, and it's just not right. So now it's going to be 100% Canadian, 95% uh, Ontario, so I'm glad we're getting this done. Medical schools will also have to create more opportunities for Ontario students who started their medical education abroad to be able to complete their postgraduate training here in Ontario. These new actions are designed to ensure Ontario medical schools are training and graduating more doctors including family doctors that are going to stay in Ontario. Because we know that if you're born in Ontario, you're more than likely to stay and practice in Ontario. Friends, we're going to keep working with our colleges, universities, and our hospitals and associations to ensure everyone has the access, the care they need.